Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my February and March wrap up because I was looking at my videos the other day and I realized I have yet to do an actual reading wrap up for any of the months in this year so far, which is kind of not not a good booktuber uh, thing of me to do. So I don't entirely remember what order I read these in because it has been, I'm talking about two months past now, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the books that I no longer have with me. And one of those was a library book. I read the graphic novel Fun Home by Alison Bechdel. Fun Home was actually a reread for me. I read it back in my freshman year for my literary theory course, and I really, really love it. It's the first, like, non-comic graphic novel that I've ever read, and I really enjoy the artwork, and I love the story. It's kind of an autobiography, but it's also about her father and homosexuality and family and inheritance, and I just really, really enjoy that book. I gave Fun Home by Alison Bechdel five out of five stars. So the next book that I don't have with me but I did read was Anatomy of a Single Girl by Darius Nadowski and I reviewed that one when I was home over spring break so I will link that down below. I actually reviewed the whole duology I guess um, and I really did not enjoy that one as much as I was hoping to. Um, I ended up giving it only two stars but again the review will be linked below if you'd like to see full thoughts. The rest of the books that I read in February and March were for school, and the first one of those was The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wilde by Juno Diaz, and again, I reviewed this book, and you can click here if you'd like to see that full review. I did enjoy this, but it didn't completely blow me away, so I gave this one three stars, but again, full thoughts in the review. The next book I read is totally different than what I normally read, and that is Lighthead by Terrence Hayes, and he is a fairly well-known African-American poet. So this is a book of poetry and because of that I just didn't rate it. The reason I didn't rate this book is that I just generally don't enjoy poetry and because of that I didn't want my dislike of the form to influence my dislike of the work so I just decided not to rate it at all. But um, this is a fairly interesting collection of poems. Um, talks a lot about uh, the African-American experience and going over in class I liked it but again I'm just not a poetry person so I, I really don't have that many thoughts on this honestly and the last book that I remember definitely reading in March was Chalk Talking and Other Realities by Leanne Howe. This is a book that I'm very confused as to how to explain. Um, I personally would call it experimental nonfiction but you could also call it experimental fiction, and technically this book is classified as travel writing. So take away from that what you will. Leanne Howe is a Native American writer. Basically writes in this book about being a Native American outside of America and kind of the expectations and stereotypes that come with that but it's just a very confusing book. I've mentioned before in videos that I'm not a huge fan of experimental fiction. I kind of like very linear plots and I like to know... I just more traditional prose is kind of more up my alley, personally. Um, so I didn't really enjoy this because these are sort of short stories, but there are some essays, and then there are essays within short stories, and short stories within essays, and then some poetry, and is and there's a mo movie script in here, and it was just a little bit too all over the place for me. Um, not really something I enjoyed, and I ended up giving this two stars. There are some cool commentaries on inheriting history and inheriting identity and things like that, but again, just it's too wacky. Way too wacky for me. Those are all of the books that I read in February and March, and yes, I only read five books in two months. So that's not a great number, even for me. After I finish filming this, though, I will be filming the Drowning in Books or Not tag that was started by Ramblings of an Elf Pyre because I started quite a few books in March. Like, I think I started six other books in March or something ridiculous like that um, that I just didn't finish. So that's it. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. I know it's been a while since I posted, and hopefully... I should get back on track with the Tfios read along and things like that, but as you can hear, I've been sick and I've just been kind of in a I don't want to do anything mood after school. I just kind of come home and sleep. So we'll be getting back into the swing of things. All right, well, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you are not sick and that you stay well throughout the rest of this lovely springtime, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!
March were what? Mm. What am I talking about? Or not drowning? No, that's wrong. That's totally wrong.